Good morning. Although it is actually afternoon now. This is Future Gen. I am the ever professional and didn't start my video, but that's okay. I've just jumped out of the shower, but I wanted to show you what I've been up to this morning. I wanted to record this, what I eat in a day, because although there are hundreds... Sorry, that's Lucas. Are you telling everyone off? I wanted to record this, what I eat in a day video, because I find that all of the ones on YouTube, and I know there's hundreds, thousands and thousands and thousands of them, um, which are great, I can never find other people that are on the journey. They've either been on the journey, um, or they're super, super fit and athletic, um, or they've already lost all their weight. There's not people that are doing it while it's happening so that you can see the outcome after. And I find that with all the fitness things, I mean, please let me know down below if you know anyone that's on a journey right now and they're smashing it. But I find like it's people that are already where they want to be and then they're training for something which i love 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 watching and i'm telling you now that'll be me um but for someone that used to be super super fit i used to swim for a six as a child i used to dance even as after having um, my son jacob i dropped loads of weight i was exercising five to six times a week doing twenty thousand steps like i was in a good good place pandemic baby being very very ill in 2021 uh, 2022 was about getting my mental health and my soul back together. So I love all the fitness stuff. I really do. But I just want to find other people that are body confident. They are curvy. Um, but they are trying to better better their health and their lifestyle. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you. So this is my breakfast. Oh, before breakfast, we did a walk to school. So I very rarely get time to have my breakfast before the school run unless I get up early. It's all about the kids. Thank you. You put them on. No. Good on then. Um, so I have my breakfast when I get back from the school run. I then had to take Jacob's teddy back to the school run. Um, back to the school even um, because he forgot it. Uh, Jacob's recently been diagnosed with ADHD and ASD. And it's just something that makes him feel more comfortable. And he forgot it this morning. So I went back up to school yeah. and I thought I'm going to incorporate a run. So here's my breakfast. And this is a little bit of me running. Stop going. I need to keep going though. I've got goals. Be real with you, I had to stop. I didn't realise the time. I actually ran straight for 16 minutes, which is good. Um, but Dwayne's got Lucas, and if I don't get back, I will probably be killed. And I didn't know where I was. So I've just used my maps half a mile away. I'm just going to take a little recovery, maybe a little jog, and then just walk. So I'm now going to take you back downstairs. I'm going to charge my other phone and um, get my fitness pal going so we can track our macros. I'm trying to eat between about 1650 and 1750 calories. I'm always short on my protein. Um, that is something that I'm trying to improve. And this is the other thing. Everyone is always bang on their macros. And that doesn't happen every day when you are running around after children and you've got school runs, you've got extra activities. I run three businesses. Like, I just want to be real. So here we go. Let's go get some lunch. As you can see, this is a huge big bowl. It's like a pasta bowl. That's why it might look a little bit less. Oh, my what's in there? Chicken, we get all of our meat from the butchers. I'm actually going to ask them if they can weigh me a skewer so then I know 
per two skewers exactly how many grams of chicken breast I'm getting and then I can put it into my fitness pal accurately. I put a little bit of feta cheese on the top of the salad, drinking all my water, gonna bust one of these open in a bit and crack on with some housework after I finished eating. Make more chicken as Lucas ate most of mine and his daddy's. <laughs> So just while I'm putting my washing away, I wanted to talk about activity. I generally, generally, genuinely, generally, generally do 12 to 15,000 steps a day. That's without a run. The school run is normally two and a half thousand steps there and back. And I do that twice a day. Lucky I've done my run today because I'm not picking Jacob up from school. So that knocks my 12 and like two and a half down. But just my general running around after the kids, doing the school run, is 12 to 15,000. Oh, my right arm literally felt like it was falling off then. Um, so yeah, I am very, very active naturally. Um, there might be the odd day that's around seven, 8,000 steps. Um, I don't get too obsessed over it. I am trying to make sure I work out every day. My partner and I have now set ourselves a challenge that every night we are doing 30 minutes on the bike and we've bought our exercise bike up from our home gym what we're trying to create at the moment into our bedroom <laughs> so we're doing 30 minutes each um biking every night no matter what um so yeah we'll see how that goes so right now i am on nearly 11,000 steps 10,700 and something i've forgotten already <laughs> so i am just gonna add food um, oh, I've had this before, so I'm wondering, actually, if I go back, I can. So this is a little trick, if you didn't know, on my fitness pal, if you've had the breakfast before, you can go to the bottom here, click the three dots. I think it's quick add, maybe? Nope. Copy. <laughs> to today. Yeah, there we go. That's easier, isn't it? Uh, so I use about a third of the salmon. Like, listen, I am guesstimating to some extent with the the grams of fat and food at the moment. Um, so avocado. Um, because when we moved, we lost um, a box and it's had both my weighing scales in, which is really annoying. Um, so I'm going to put a 0.6, so slightly bigger than a medium, but it's not a large. And half an avocado in my salad. I'm not going to fill out tomatoes, cucumber, etc. Um, chicken. I'm guessing it's about 100 grams. Mm, no, because I had extra, didn't I? Let's go for two today it's just this is as i say i'm just getting back into tracking my food so we will ensure that this is bang on next time one second so just ate this i'm not gonna lie to you uh i was clearing up jacob went to a party yesterday i know he's not gonna like it so i was about to put it in the bin and then i ate it <laughs> literally <laughs> all carbs um, and then let's have a little look where we're at. See, I am really behind on my protein again. I'm always good with my fat. Um, my carbs are fine. So I'm probably gonna have half a packet of rice for dinner. I'm gonna have some lamb skewers, which do have fat in it as well. But I'm gonna have to have something more proteiny as well. I have um, 836 for the day. But as I said earlier, this is loosely, I'm not, training for something specific at the moment i'm just going for weight loss getting my fitness back and then the training will start i have something very specific in mind as well as some other other little events but um that's where we're at so far guys and we've drunk all of this plus my um glass of water this morning with my uh vitamin in i'll easily um do half of that again if not more and i'm halfway through my monster so 
tomorrow I'm going to tuck into the final meal of the day and then we're going to do our 30 minutes on the bike later once we've had a little chill up. Oh. Say goodbye. Bye bye. Subscribe. Bye. Hit the like button. Bye. Button. Yeah, go on then, you press it.